Alright, what's going on everyone? Cubix here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, we have a really cool unboxing from thecubicle.com, who, if you didn't know, is the sponsor of today's video. So if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you enjoy this video, definitely make sure to hit the like button as well. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to The Cubicle on YouTube, and check out their store. Links will be down in the description below. Also, from now on, you can use the discount code CUBIX to get 5% off all your orders at thecubicle.com. So anyways guys, without further ado, let's get right into this video. So first off, we have this DNM37 lubricant, which is a water-based lube, and it really speeds up your cube. So I will probably end up trying this in each of these cubes. Next up, we have this really neat Moyu mat, because I thought it'd be a really cool background for my videos from now on. And it is so big, I can hardly fit it in frame, which will actually be pretty nice for my videos. So recently, the cubicle has been having these insane sales, where if you buy a certain amount or spend a certain amount, then you get free stuff. So since I spent over $30, I got this DNM37 lube for free. And since I spent over 100, I got this Chi MS 3x3 magnetic for free as well. So I guess we'll just open up this budget cube first because if I'm not mistaken, it is the oldest of the bunch. So this is actually a really cool case. I'm definitely going to keep this and all I have to do is push this part in and lift it up. And so that's actually really, really neat. So all it comes with is just a random cube pamphlet, but other than that, it has no other accessories. All right, so getting into the cube itself, it looks to be about 56 millimeters. I'm pretty sure that's the size, and it is very luby on the outside, and the pieces are slightly frosted. Now I can't quite remember exactly how much this cube costs, but the links to all of these cubes will be down in the description below, and I will hopefully put the price up on the screen right now. Alright, let's do first turns. Ooh, wow, okay. So it has a pretty quiet feel and sound. It's very, very bumpy, although the magnets are pretty light but yeah right now it's a little luby I might have to clean that off it feels about the perfect tension pretty much exactly what I like and it's actually super super buttery and smooth but like I said it does have a really bumpy feel I think this is really really good for a budget cube I'm pretty sure this is about seven or eight dollars but wow I'm actually quite surprised it's a little uncontrollable right now but we'll see what lube we can put in it to make it better Dang, I'm actually really, really liking this. It is still a bit slippery, but the turning is actually super, super satisfying. And it's pretty quiet, and I just think it's a pretty pleasant turning cube in general. But still a little uncontrollable right now. We'll definitely have to slow this down just a little bit. But other than that, the tensions are good. The corner cutting isn't the greatest. I think it can hit about 45. Reverse, about a piece. So pretty standard. But yeah, other than that, this cube is pretty good, and it's definitely really, really good for its price. Next up, we have this YJ Yuhu V2 Magnetic Megaminx. And so this competes for the best Megaminx with the newly released Diane Megaminx. But all I have is the X-Man Galaxy V2 LM. So that cube is a little small, and the magnets are very strong. And I've heard a lot of good things about this cube, so let's get right into it and see how it performs out of the box. Alright, so like the GEM as 3x3, the only accessory it comes with is this pamphlet, which I'm kind of happy with. I don't like a whole bunch of accessories. So really quick, I'll compare the size and other features to my current main Megaminx, the Galaxy V2 LM. So the Yuhu looks to be about 2 millimeters larger, maybe 3, I'm not quite sure. But the ridges on this one is just one circle, which I kind of like. It actually looks pretty cool. And on this one, there's a ridge on every single piece. And this cube is definitely feels just really, really small in my hands. And it's kind of hard to control. Everything's just so tiny and hard to mess with and know what I'm doing. But on this cube, it's a lot bigger. And so it feels like it'll be a lot easier to see what I'm doing and just get a better handle on each of the pieces. Also, out of the box, this cube is the slight bit dry sounding, but it definitely doesn't feel dry at all. Super, super smooth and fast, and wow, I'm really, really going to enjoy this. The tensions feel pretty good. It's slightly on the looser side, which I really enjoy, and wow, it just sounds so crispy and just smooth. This is definitely already my main. Oh, right, really quick, I got like a slight corner twist. Okay, so this cube does corner twist fairly easily. This one, a little harder to corner twist. But the magnets on this one are a lot harder. On this one, I did get the LM version, so the lighter magnets. 
and it feels super, super comfortable in my hands. And this cube is $12.99 on thecubicle.com. So if you want to pick one up yourself, check the link out in the description down below. But I am really loving these turns and the shades is just so nice. I'm definitely going to main this. Right now I average over three minutes on Mega Manx. Hopefully this can get me down to under two. I actually really want to get better at Mega Manx. And so yeah, I'm definitely going to practice on this. I really, really like it so far. We'll see how the lube affects it at the end of the video. Oh wow, but really quick, I wanted to note that this cube is so incredibly good at corner cutting. Perfect, easy 45. Reverse, uh, slightly under a piece, but for Mega Manx, that's really, really good. So yeah, let's move on to the next cube. This cube is insanely amazing. All right, so now all we are left with is the two newly released X-Man puzzles, the 3x3 and the 4x4. So let's check out this X-Man Ambition 4x4 first and save the one I'm most excited for for last, the X-Man Tornado V2M. All right, so here we go. I'm super excited for these two cubes. Oh wow, that's a really nice case. It kind of reminds me of the case that the Valk 2M was in. So... That is really nice. Okay, all this reminds me of like the newest vault cubes. It's like got this nice cube box with the clear plastic on top. And then this these kind of accessories boxes. It looks like this comes with a really, really nice pamphlet. Oh wow, this is really neat. So it shows all the world records on the X-Man puzzles. This will actually teach me a lot. I'm gonna look into this after this video. Alright, other than that, we just have this collectible card, which I actually do collect, so this is pretty neat. Alright, so putting all that aside, we can now get into the cube itself. And let me tell you, I am really digging this new X-Man logo. That looks really nice. It just looks very clean and pristine. Alright, so as of now, my current 4x4 main is the YJ MGC 4x4 Magnetic. And this turns super buttery and smooth. It's very, very crunchy, and it's just so satisfying to turn. Everything, it's just so controllable, and it just turns so, so well. So let's see how this new X-Man Ambition 4x4 stands up to my current main. All right, here go the first turns. Oh, all right. So that's actually a lot quieter than the MGC. Here goes the MGC. It's very crunchy and loud, and here goes the Ambition. Oh, wow. So it's still slightly crunchy, but it's definitely a lot more quieted down. It feels a little bit more smoother, but it's also a slight bit more slow and catchy. We'll have to see what DNM does to this cube at the very end. But right now, I am liking this, although, like I said, it is a little bit slow and catchy on the inner layers. The outer layers are super smooth, still a slight bit slow for me. I might need to loosen this, I'm not quite sure yet. We'll just have to break in a little bit more and see how it continues to perform. All right, so the corner cutting on the outer layers is a little over a piece on the inner layers. It's a little under a piece, and we'll try this one too at a little under a piece. With reverse corner cutting on the outer layers, it's about half a piece. Not incredible, but it still is pretty good. I think I like the MGC a little bit more as of now, but I'll have to see what the lube does to this cube. All right, so finally we have the cube I'm most excited for. Here we have the X-Man Tomato, v I mean the X-Man Tornado V2M 3x3. Ooh, nice, I really like this red color. And with this cube, uh, it comes in the same clear case right here. And other than that, we have this huge accessories box well, let's see what this has inside. Wow, this nice red color definitely looks like a tomato. I, I mean a tornado. All right, so taking a look inside the accessories box, it looks like we have a really nice cube card to show that it is legit and not a scam. Next up, we have a cleaning cloth, which is if you get lube or dirt on the outside of the pieces. Here is another pamphlet, which I assume is the same as before. Here's another pamphlet, which is talking about the new design and the new customizable options of this cube. Here's a really, really beautiful bag. I think it's leather, kind of like slippery, but like, man, that material is actually super nice. It's like sort of a cloth leather jacket. And then finally, we have this tensioning tool, which I assume is for the new customizations. And of course, we have the cube itself. Let's see if we can get this out. Oh goodness, oh, there we go. All right, there we have it. Wow, everything's just so high quality with these new X-Man puzzles. 
I'm like really really excited for these and to see the potential that they have um okay so this cube looks a little bit bigger than 54 millimeters but it also looks and feels a little smaller than 55 so i think it's 54 and a half i'm not quite sure you'll have to look into that a little more or i could put it right here all right anyways with the first turns this cube is so incredibly quiet oh wow that is so smooth oh my gosh whoa I cannot control this right now. Also, I can't tell if the pieces are, like, frosted or not. It definitely doesn't feel as glossy as other cubes, but it really does not feel frosted either. So I'll have to look into that a little more. But wow, this cube is the perfect tension, and it is so, so quiet. It corner cuts out of the box a little over 45. So that's really good. Reverse corner cutting out of the box. Oh, gosh. It's a little under a piece, so not quite as good as some other cubes out there. But right now, this turning itself really does impress me. I'm not having any catches or lockups. Oh, wow. Okay, so the corner twists are a little bit harder to do, so that's good. Really quick before we test these options, I will compare it to my current main. So this is the RS3M 2020. It's definitely a lot louder, but it's super, super buttery and smooth. And it's super controllable. And overall, just a super fluid turning puzzle. This cube is definitely a lot quieter, sort of like the Tangyun V1M and the V2M. It feels a little bit bubbly. It's a little faster and uncontrollable, especially on the middle turns, but I'll just have to get used to that and tension it. Okay, so already just opening this up, it really looks a lot simpler than the customizations on other cubes. Right away on this edge piece, we see a minus over on this side and a plus over on this side. So it looks like if we use this tensioning tool or this turning tool that the plus is probably stronger magnets and the minus is probably weaker magnets and it looks like it has three other settings in between so that'll be really really simple to figure out oh wow that's really cool so these other tools are sort of hidden inside it looks like this is an extra screwdriver tip well it's a little bit bigger so it can take bigger screws and then we also have this tool oh so this is the tool that can spin these edge magnets around because it is a flat head and then finally we have this tool which it looks like adjusts the center so let's try that out right now okay so it says if we put this in here and turn clockwise it adjusts the spring tension and if we turn counterclockwise it adjusts the axis distance also through these holes you can see the number right there through it that you're on so it's super easy to tell where you're at right now we're on three Let's see what four is like. Okay, so it turns the entire center thing. We will go all the way to five. That's what it goes to. So making those outer numbers higher, it increases spring tension, which makes it tighter. Then after five, it should snap right back into place if we keep turning it clockwise. So now it's at one and it should be the loosest, so the most flexible. All right, so then turning counterclockwise, we'll just mess with this inner circle. Yep, and so right now by turning counterclockwise, we just went up to four. So now we are decreasing the axis distance, making it tighter. Okay, and then if we go down to one, it snaps back into place. Oh wow, that's a lot looser. I think I'm going to keep it at all the same settings it came with which is 3-3 three, three, and then the normal magnet strength because everything just feels super good. Oh wait, I actually just realized something. On the center cap, there are two spots where there are little clips right here and then only on two of the corners of the center there are little openings. Put it in, you can't really see in the video, but yeah, that's the only way you could put on these caps. So, right here I think. And voila, it goes on. All right, so now let's try the DNM 37. All right, so this cube does already look lubed fairly well, but we'll just try about two drops of DNM to see what happens. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, yep, that's definitely a lot more uncontrollable now. And that is so, so fast, holy cow. Okay, wow, yeah, so that made it a lot more faster, tiny bit louder, a little more uncontrollable, so definitely I'll probably have to put a little slower lube in here. So next up we have the TEMS, which is very, very uncontrollable already. So the DNM is gonna make it even more. Well, this'll be fun. All right, so two drops was definitely enough. And wow, yep, okay. That's a lot faster. 
you know what i don't even have anything to say you guys can already see this is very uncontrollable i'm also going to need to put a waist lower lube in this as well next up we have the ambition 4x4 which i think needs a little bit of lube so we'll put a drop right here and then how about a drop right here all right Let's see what this does Ooh. All right, so it makes it a little faster. I like this a little better now. It was a little slow at first. But yeah, this is this is definitely a lot better than before. Uh, I don't think I'll main it over the MGC, but yeah, this is actually super smooth and buttery. And just overall, a really fluid and good feeling cube and very quiet as well. Finally, we have this Yoohoo Mega Minx, which feels absolutely incredible. Let's put in two drops of DNM right there. And this cube is already very fast and smooth. But, yep, this just made it a little better, even. Wow, this is so incredible. I cannot wait to practice on this. Alright, well, made it faster and a little less controllable, but a lot smoother. We'll just break it in a little bit. And all of these products will be linked down in the description below, as well as the cubicle, which you can shop at and use code CUBICS to get 5% off all your orders at thecubicle.com. So, these are all the cubes I got. They all surprised me so much, and they're extremely good. I'm definitely going to main this one, and I don't know about this. I'll have to practice with it a little more and see what it's like. This mat is also really nice. I'll definitely use it on my desk. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this video is really long. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this. Definitely make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.